Excel podcast is sponsored by Easy Excel. Learning Excel from Mr. Excel podcast episode 1496, post your worksheet to the board. Well, today we're talking about at MrExcel.com, the message board. The message board, of course, is that uh, place where the great community of, of folks are out there uh, answering Excel questions all the day. And there is down here a link about to post your worksheet or code to the message board, uh, download the free utilities from this page. And I, someone sent, sent me a question said, we can't figure out how to use this. Could you please just show us uh, what's going on? So there's two versions. There's an HTML maker for a worksheet, and then this is to post your code. Let's go to uh, this version here. All right, what do I want to do? I want to save as. It's going to download a zip file. Let's go to C colon, just someplace where you can find it again, right? So, actually, I already downloaded it before. Click Save. I'm going to replace it. Yes. Running security scan, and it's done. All right, open the folder. And there's our zip file. We can uh, right click and say Extract All. Sure, that's a great place. Extract. Remember the name, though, right? Okay. Now, we get uh, two things. We get a guide and the XLA. The XLA is the important part. We're going to uh, install that in Excel. So here we go. Back to Excel. Whatever version you're in, Alt T I. T I. T for tools, I for that I and add ins. And we're going to browse. All right. And see, it starts out browsing here in the add ins. We don't want to go there. We want to go back to C colon, wherever you saved it. So I saved it right there, and that's the version. Click OK. All right, so then you'll have this entry, HTML Maker. Beautiful. Click OK. It's now available to you. It's back here on the Add-ins tab, um, Mr. Excel HTML, Generate HTML Use Default, Generate HTML All Formulas, First Cell Only, First Cell in Each Column, No Formulas, User Defined Selection. I'm going to go with All Formulas, although probably First Cell in Each Column would be just fine. So I'm going to choose that. All right. See, and then you don't get any warm, fuzzy feeling that it worked, but it worked. It's now sitting on the clipboard. So here's what we're going to do. MrExcel.com. Uh, go back to the message board. Make sure that you're signed in. If you haven't signed in, sign in. We go into Excel questions, although I'm going to post today in the lounge because it's just a test. New thread. You would say, need help with VLOOKUP. Give it a really good title. That's the most important part to help you get help because people are scanning through all these titles. They want to look for one. They know what you want. Don't just say Excel help. Um, now, I'm just going to call this testing. And uh, you know, hey, folks, I have a problem today with, and you would describe what your problem is. Here is my worksheet. All right, now, all of the code to generate the worksheet is sitting on the clipboard. So just Control V, V, all right, and that all looks like a bunch of gobbledygook, and it is. Well, no, I suppose it's not. I suppose it's HTML. Let's just preview post and make sure that it looks right. Oh my gosh, isn't that amazing? So, you know, hey folks, you describe your problem, and then you get a picture. It's actually HTML. It's an HTML table of what the spreadsheet looked like. And then down here, what all of the formulas are. Isn't that absolutely amazing? Now, this tool was originally uh, built by Colo. Colo is a, an Excel MVP in Japan. Uh, later on, this version, I know uh, Richard Scholar, John von der Hayden, uh, Juan Pablo all contributed. Uh, and so, uh, just a, a beautiful little way. A picture's worth a thousand words, right? And now people will be able to see uh, what it is that uh, you're having a problem with. Well, hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast. Mr. Excel.